bottom of the sea. Hi everybody, welcome back to Spruverse, my scale model universe and a brand new build, part one of Build the Flying Sub in 132 scale from our friends over at Mobius. And uh, as I said in my dyno uh, uh, build that I would be uh, shifting gears and, and, and getting immersed in my Irwin Allen and it's about time. I know a whole bunch of you have got this kit somewhere in that stash. Come on, you know you do. Get it out. Let's go. Let's go. We're building the 132 scale. <laughs> and it belongs on a shelf being displayed, not collecting dust. You know how I feel. Anyway, welcome to everybody. It's great to have you with me. If you like my content, please like and subscribe. And uh, let us dive in. So, um, but, but before we do, by the way, I, I, I do have something to say. Thank you to all my subscribers who w w beat me over the head about my dino build, you know, my, my, my Pegasus uh, T-Rex uh, with my roadkill that I kept referring to as a Stegosaurus. It was a Triceratops. Triceratops. But, you know, um, I'm sorry. Sometimes deaf, dumb, and stupid is not a great way to go through life. But I, I don't know what it was. It was really weird. Every time I looked at the bloody thing, I thought it was a stegosaurus. No, no, triceratops. So uh, apologies and thank all of you who uh, were kind enough to uh, explain to me the realities of life. I sometimes uh, get, a, get so overwhelmed and excited that I... I, I get into the weeds on things and don't stop to think. Trying, trying very hard to learn how not to do that. Uh, trying hard to, this year, improve our bases uh, and our, our, our final reveals a um, lot. But anyway, um, it is Owen Allen uh, month here on the channel. Oh yes, we're going to do the flying sub. We're going to do the space pod. And um, I might uh, do something very strange that I've never done before. I'm not sure. Um, I, I might sort of do a Simo uh, kind of build where um, I'm checkerboarding what I'm building. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Um, that might get a little uh, crazy for some of you, uh, including myself. <laughs> but anyway, here it is. Uh, it is the 132. And uh, we all know it. Uh, we all uh, have heard, heard of it or we have it in our stash. Uh, this one has a sufficient amount of dust on it just to prove that, yes, uh, they are all collecting dust in the stashes. But um, we're going to rectify that today. Um, I, I don't do... Uh, I don't do unboxing, so that's not what this is. It, it's, uh, as my dear friend Lou Del Meso always says, it's meet the parts and then also talk about strategy just in this first section. And then we will start the, the build, obviously, in, in, in part one of this, uh, of this show. Um, lots to talk about. We've got the kit itself to take a look at. We have the lighting kit. Look at this. Did any of you get the lighting kit? I did. Now, um, are there better ways to light this? Probably. <laughs> Was this a waste of money? I don't know. I don't know. Um, it is uh, what it says. What it says is that, um, oh, I still have the film on it. That's, that's crazy. Let's, uh, let's get this off. Um, now, I'm not entirely sure, as I record this, whether or not this kit is readily available. I don't, I don't know. You'll have to check with Steve over at Cult TV Man or uh, get Amazon or eBay. I'm sure they're out there. I don't know what they're asking for them now. I paid $119 for this, in full disclosure. I've never opened it. I know that there's been a bunch of unboxings and discussion about this. Um, I have deliberately avoided them. <laughs> Because I want my own uh, point of view. I don't want someone else's. But I'm hoping, um, as your uh, kind model builder and friend, uh, that subscribers, if you haven't thought about it, maybe uh, this will, you know, coax you to throw up, uh, say I'm full of crap. I don't know. 
uh, we'll, we'll take a look. Um, you decide, but we're going to be using it. And um, now that I've got the shrink wrap of it, maybe we can take a better look. Look at this. Look at this promise. Headlights featuring super bright LEDs. Uh, the reactor with multicolored flashing effect and engine lights. And there you go. Look at that. Um, making a great kit even better, it says. Comprehensive lighting kit accurately recreates lighting effects as seen in the television series. Voyage to the bottom of the sea, including headlights, engine lights, and floor panels, and flashing reactor lights. Look at that. The, clear, the kit includes... Uh, circuits, switches, and pre-soldered wiring. No additional soldering or wiring is needed. Um, there you go. Skill level three. Everything is a skill level three, which, you know, is an immediate uh, caution to me. <laughs> we'll take a look at that. Um, we'll see what that's all about. Now, um, I have also, because one must... Got myself my Aztec dummy paint masks. Oh, yes. Um, so if you're not familiar with Aztec dummy, you need to be. The greatest painting masks on the planet, says me. Now, there are other great masks out there. Don't get me wrong. Um, I'm not being biased. Um, but uh, I, I do love Lou's masks, and we'll be using those. And, of course, uh, Paul over at Paragraphics. Uh, and his, um, his photo etch set. We have that here. Not huge, but it's going to add um, just, it's going to clean up some of the control panels that we see uh, through the glass. Um, and some very nice, some very nice decals, additional decals that um, I don't know what we get in this kit. We're going to take a look right now. We're going to, we're going to unbox this. And we're going to look at this together for the first time. Okay, immediately I see a... Um, now, this is from Mobius. Blue vinyl floor kit. Um, now, I don't think this came with the model. I think I may have put this... <laughs> I think I may have put this inside the box when I bought it. I don't know. I can't remember. I don't think this comes with the kit, guys. Um, I don't think it does. But anyway, I've got a vinyl floor kit here. Um, it's a beast. It is a beast. It's... Um, let's see here. Okay. Now, um, they were kind enough to mold this in uh, the yellow plastic, um, but it's going to need to be lightly sanded, and um, I think we will be. Um, I think what we'll be doing is, is we'll be giving this a primer coat, uh, most likely some kind of a white. I'll probably use my um, extra fine uh, Tamiya uh, rattle can uh, primer. I'm sure I will. I don't, I, I, I don't know yet. Um, but uh, when you, it's interesting, when you look at the uh, Lowe's masks, um, think you get well he gives you floor stuff as well which is interesting you get your windows and um, you get your fin you get uh, you get masks for your fins right so you can paint that blue line yeah they're all here so uh, that that's very good I'm happy about that. So, uh, put that aside for a second. I'm just going to take a quick look at this, see if I've got any issues. Um, yeah, darn it. So, 
I've got one of these kits where I've I've got a little bit of flash that has stuck itself to the exterior of the uh, of the model. Do you see right there? And so you've got to be super, super careful about how to remove that. And um, same on the uh, same on the other side. Not terrible, but you've got to be super careful because. Um, if you don't remove that carefully, the old me would have just pulled at it, you know, and uh, take a chunk out of the plastic. Old me. Okay, um, let's see here. The bottom looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. We've got um, one, two, three, four panels. Um, I suspect these were some for some kind of uh, landing apparatus, but we're going to be displaying it at some kind of an angle, probably something like that, so we, we can see it, you know, something like that, I don't know. And maybe uh, in the water, that would be fun, wouldn't it? Um, but um, yeah, looking, looking pretty good. Um, now, curiously here, this is kind of fun. Um, do you see these are actually molded and finished in such a way that they they look like uh, you can display them somehow I'm not sure maybe you can open them don't know we'll take a we'll we'll take a, a gander at that and we'll see what what that's all about um, let's see all right you've got your interior we'll leave that for a second i just want to see what else is in here that's yellow um, engines are here and uh, the rear door clear parts include some windows um, your uh, lighting effect well some clear for the, the lighting effect for that rear window and um, an interesting base with a globe of the world. Um, I don't know. Ooh, hang on here. You actually get peeps in this. Look at this. Okay. I didn't know that you got people with this. I thought you had to buy them extra. Well, that's good. Um, front frame looks pretty clean. Don't see any problems there. Um, Two very nice peeps. We've got um, Admiral Nelson and Captain Crane, it looks like. Supposed to be Admiral Nelson and Captain Crane. Um, so that's good. Not, you know, um, with their joysticks already glued in their hands, which I think at a certain level is sort of appreciated, I suppose. Um, so we'll have to do a little figure painting there. Um, let's see. We talked about the clear parts in the stand. And um, this uh, bag, this bag has a whole bunch of parts in it. Um, Okay, hoses, ladder, some venting systems, girders, and doors. Now, the doors, curiously now, um, are able to be hinged. So that's, that's sort of fun. Now, I don't like playing with these things like toys. So the fact that you can actually open them um, you know, I, I don't know, that doesn't have wow factor to me, for me, but, um, I'm sure, I'm sure we'll, we'll be glad that we have them. Um, oh boy, okay, there's a hatch here, pretty decent hatch, I would say, pretty decent, it's got some nice coil spring details, uh, the seal looks pretty good. Not too much to clean up. Of course, see here, some more girders. Um, this looks like 
Some other detail parts, some seats look pretty good. All looks pretty good. Um, and then another hatch. We got two hatches there. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, what I usually do is if things have fallen off the trees, what I like to do is, is I keep these on my bench now. I've got these little, these little buckets. And so immediately, if anything's fallen off the tree, um, or, or whatever, if anything is loose in here, um, it's going in here. It's going immediately in here, including, um, including any of the smaller parts, which I will, I will clip off these trees like fire extinguishers and things like that so that they can be, uh, painted and I, I, I don't lose them. Um, interesting clear part here for the floor. Um, now I'm not sure how this works with our flooring lighter lighting effect, but I'm sure, I'm sure it all kind of works together. Um, it's quite, quite, quite crisp. It's not scratched, so let's keep it that way. Um, in order to do that, I'm going to keep it in this piece of foam right here. Um, I'm going to just wrap it up like that. Just lay it over it like that. Set that aside for a second. And of course, last but not least, can we have a drum roll? Instructions. Flying sub. Okay. Flying sub. Very good. Um, let's see here. Well, it's got some instructions, so that's appreciated. Um, lots of details. If we can get as close as they've gotten with their Nelson and Crane, I'll be a happy man. Um, but definitely lots of detail there. Um, so that's good. Paint call out. Okay. Um, interesting, all in testers. All the paint call outs are in testers. So if you're a Tamiya fan, you're out of luck with these folks, but that's okay. Um, I mean, I don't know, you know, really? There's your instructions. <laughs> There's your instructions. Okay. I mean, you know, it is exactly where everything goes, but, um, you know, and I suppose the larger one is all, all the numbered pieces. So, um, and there is an assembly tip here. Um, before starting assembly of your flying sub, take time to read through the instruction sheet and review the diagrams. Sometimes spent studying the instructions and planning is the best way to proceed. Painting tips. Uh, wash everything, yes. Especially the larger parts, for sure. Um, and familiarize yourself with everything. Okay. Well, you're basically flying blind, no pun intended, with uh, the instructions if you're, um, if you're not super careful. So um, there you go. We've got Photo Etch. Um, we'll take a look at the lighting kit now, I think. Let me put this all back. I don't know if we need the stand in the box, but I'll leave it for now. Okay. Um, okay. Okay, let's put this there. And uh, 
let's quickly look at this lighting kit because uh, I'm just curious. I'd love to hear from you guys. If you guys have built with this kit, do you like it? Was it worth it? I don't know. Uh, I will say this about lighting kits. Sometimes it gets a little, I don't know, monotonous when you are coming up with your own lighting system, especially when you're a novice like me. Um, I, you know, my head works in a very specific way, but planning and thinking about how all this goes together, when you've got that taken away from you, sometimes it makes the build more enjoyable. Um, holy moly. Okay. Um, so it says... It's, it says that you need the model kit 817. Okay, well, we've got, we've, we've got 817, so we're okay. We're okay. Okay. Um, it's a bundle. That's interesting. Um, it is a bundle. Okay. Oh, it's got a light sheet for the floor. That's kind of hip. And uh, you get... You get your adapter, some switches, and uh, a USB plug power cord. That's interesting. Um, we should just plug in the light kit in and turning it on. All right, well, we can do that. We can certainly do that. Holy moly. Okay. There you go instructions for how to um, modify the reactor wall um, some lights for the instrument panel just just a couple um, some lights for the engine uh, headlights and and um, Leave the clear parts unpainted so that you, the light will, will, will shine through. That's pretty cool. Um, it looks relatively... Um, now, this is, this is curious because this is, this is where I get a little, like, right? So in 7 AD here, they want you to cut some holes in the, uh, the hull. And that's to put the switches in. There's got to be a better way to do this. But you see here, it's showing you the switches. So you've got an on and off switch, a USB port, for, and uh, an AC power port. You've got the three ports. Um, then the board itself lives at the side of the wing so that that is one of the nice things about uh having a uh a kit like this is it does take a lot of the thinking out of where you put things however having said that let's pray that um things do fit where they say they do um let's have a look here what we've got just to familiarize yourself with it or myself with it, and then we'll we'll get going. Um, okay, so here's the bundle. Everything's already plugged in for you. Look at this. You don't even have to plug anything in. That's interesting. Here's the floor piece for those three. Um, hexagonal, hexagonal uh, floor motifs. Uh, this is um, all the lights. And here is power port, a USB port, um, and a, what looks like a switch um, right here. So switch, 
and then uh, AC jack and then a USB jack all on one bundle uh, you do get it looks like okay you get you'll get your um, USB power adapter you get um, for the reactor wall you get this piece which replaces I'm sure the piece in the kit so that you can park your LEDs and then you get an adapter which I'm just curious as to what the voltage is on this because um, see what they went with they went with uh, uh, five, 5 volts they went with 5 volts there you go 1 amp so uh, don't be using one of your 9 volts <laughs> bugs in this You'll probably blow it. <clears throat> okay. Um, so, um, why don't we just for giggles and fits, which rhymes with, uh huh? Let's um, let's plug this in and see what we've got. Okay, so boom, 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 and uh, let let us um, no indication that you have power. So uh, you're kind of on your own there. Here's the switch. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, the switch is on. So, ah, now the floor is lit. Um, you can't tell from here, but um, it is it it is lit. Um, it's sort of a warm glow, which is kind of fun. I think these are the uh, reactor light. Uh, with the blues and the greens. Um, I think these are your headlights. And, or possibly this is. And then you've got, uh, let's see here. Ba -bum -ba -bum -ba -bum. Got two headlights and two lights for the control for the front of the board. So they give you, they give you these probably for those front screens. So everything is light, everything is lighting up. Looks relatively harmless. <laughs> we'll kill that. So we know that works. Okay. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is clean this up. Get a coat of primer on everything. And uh, let us start thinking about, uh, well, let me put this, yeah, I'll, well, I'll do this off camera. You don't need to watch me clean up a cord. Uh, so yeah, let me put all this away, uh, wash everything, uh, get a coat of primer on everything, and uh, let, us, uh, let us dive in. Um, so a couple of things I wanted to address. Uh, the first one is I'm, I pulled this uh, packet out of the box when we started the uh, sort of to, to take a look at the kit. And I don't want to confuse anybody and I don't want to send anybody down a rabbit hole. This, uh, I'm, I would have inadvertently put it in the box. Uh, I must have picked it up 
put it in the box, and um, it, it is, it's a separate aftermarket part. It's from a company called TSDS Modeling. Um, here, is, here it is. And it's, it's, it's a blue vinyl floor kit. Um, and I must have picked this up thinking, oh, amazing. <laughs> but um, I have used it. Um, and, you know, a lot of you are going to say, including uh, the great Lou Del Meso, will say, I have the mask. Why didn't you just paint the floor? And um, that is a very fair point. But, you know, I, I had it and I thought, let's try it. Let's use it. And, and, and see what it looks like. Um, it actually is fine, uh, considering how little of this floor you're actually ever going to see. Um, I've painted the, uh, the hatch. Uh, it's, uh, I've used uh, a light gunmetal. And uh, because it just, I just think it looks, it looks a little more interesting. And um, I missed Right here, you'll see I'm off by just a hair here, which is no problem at all because what we can do is I've got this color, exact color, and we'll hit the bottom of it and everything will disappear. I'm also going to dust the, uh, the clear hexagons. I'm going to dust those with white so that we, we get sort of a, a, a warm glow. Now, um, actually, it may even be yellow. Uh, so I'm not sure about that. I think, uh, well, I'll, I'll, tr I'll double check. For me personally, it's not the end of the world if I dust them white and they're supposed to be yellow. I don't know. We'll take a look. Uh, don't, uh, I don't sort of freak out about canon issues, but white and yellow, <laughs> oh, oh, quite, quite a bit different. Okay, um, everything fits beautifully. Uh, there's, no, there's no fit issues for the actual... Um, interior of this beast uh, no fit issues at all and um, it looks it looks pretty good and it should sit in the um, in the shell quite quite nicely um, now I do as I mentioned I do have um, I, I do have a here it is I do have the photo etch kit for this so it's not it's it's not a huge it's not a huge kit it's it's actually relatively small uh, but it's nice and it adds some punch and some detail uh, which I like so um, there are frames for the for the parts that that are lit um, you, you could put a few more blinkies and red lights in here um, I, I, I don't know if you need to you could but I, I think that, um, you know, for me with this particular kit, I'm not going to go all, all guns blazing. Um, I, I want a decent build, a good build, but I'm not going to, uh, to go crazy on it because I'm going to go crazy, a little crazier on the space pod uh, from Lost in Space. And that, 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 that could make you crazy. Um, funny though, there is a, what I think is a, a bunk, a bunk here, right? And so this kind of just sits in here like this, but there, are, so why not make a pillow and a blanket for it? I don't know. I might just, just because you can, um, that could be fun. And I've got the, I've got my figures, and so they're, they're going to look pretty good. Now, I, I have, um, I've, I've cleaned everything up for the most part, and um, I wanted to just briefly look at, if I could pull it out here, I wanted to see if I could find the... Um, where is it? Where would you be if you were a control panel? Where would you be? Um, I see girders. Uh, I see 
little seats. Um, but I don't see the front control panel. How interesting is that? Okay. Uh, let me... Oh, I wonder if it's in clear. No, it's not in clear. All right, well, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to figure this out because I need to find it. So let me figure it out. I'll find it and uh, we'll, we'll talk about that in just a second. Well, when the good Lord was giving out brains, I thought he said trains and asked for a slow one. Because <laughs> it was in a little bag uh, and it's a yellow part. Here it is. Let's get you closer. Yeah, here it is. Now, what I have is on my photo etch, I've got, um, I've got all sorts of things here for the, uh, for the front panel here. Uh, but most importantly at all, I've got these two, uh, I've got these two screens which are lit and uh, they come with some 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 screens and some dials here so there is there is more opportunity to get some more light in here but i'm not going to do it not for this build i'm not going to do it if i ever build it again i may then but for this build i'm not going to um don't know just don't feel feel that um it's a beautiful kit though by the way the size of it is really nice so that's cool. Um, and I can see here that there is a, uh, trying to see here, if there's a peg of some kind that this sits in. Um, no, I don't see it yet. I don't see it yet, but, um, most likely it's going to be on it's going to be on this piece hang on i shall bring it over it's gotten bless its heart it's gotten a uh, a coat of white primer on it now i'm gonna give this a very light sanding with some 800 and then hit it again and and then that that should be ready for um it's yellow coat um but because i'm going yellow with it i wanted to go with a white primer not a gray primer so i didn't muddy it up but this is your essentially this is your your world and uh what i'm going to do because i can is shamelessly bring out and i mean shamelessly bring out my my part works upgrade cushion <laughs> if you don't have one of these you gotta get one um i had these made for my friend lou and wayne for the challenge you think i got a thank you no i didn't it's okay i'm a grown man i can i can deal with that um, so this sits like this ish. I say, let's put it back a little bit so that I can, uh, see. Okay. So there's the tabs for, for the, the back of it. That makes sense. Here's the control panel tabs. They'll just sit, sit like this. But let me, uh, let me get this into position. Now, none of this is glued down or anything. So the likelihood of there being some kind of, some kind of train wreck here is very possible. But I'm just trying to line everything up so I can see what I've got. If I can, 
Sometimes you get lucky. And sometimes you don't. No, it doesn't want to behave. Um, there. Okay, that's pretty good. And then these... Um, these grab... Well, they don't actually. This goes on. Somehow-ish, like this. And then these, wow, they're awfully low, but it makes sense. They sit kind of, kind of there. Doesn't want to behave. Something like that. Something like that. Um, I've been a uh, now, obviously, this is too forward because uh, it doesn't want to, to seat, which is why I know that the, this is not in its pins. So let me, for the sake of causing some grief here, I'm going to remove, I'm going to remove the walls and I'm going to get this on its pins. see here because I want to what I want to do is is I want to know exactly what my if I have any fit issues before I do anything else um, I've had some good luck with Mobius and I've had not so great luck um, so before you start painting anything because that's the other issue too is some of these parts are going to be painted and then touched up. And you, what you don't want to do is start scratching everything um, or messing with things. But these are the locator pins right here. It's curious. Okay, like that. Okay, so it, it, it sits proud and forward and there is plenty of room here for lighting. So if you're one of these peep folks who want to just, you know, knock yourself out, you certainly can. Now, I've got to figure out what I'm doing here because uh, there's, there's quite there. That sits nicely, but th that's just like that. And then... That's just off, which is interesting. There must be a reason for that. Um, I'm not sure what that reason is, but we will uh, <laughs> we'll figure it out. You see what happens uh, when, you, um, when you sort of hang and you're watching me completely in the raw uh, building. This is what happens. This is why we all shoot a piece advance the ball and then show you what we've done because you don't want to see the three hours of me looking at this thinking hmm how does this go together and is there any room for more wires and where are my wires going and all that nonsense um but that that's part of it that's part of uh that's part of the joy of this and and it is a joy it's fun um See, I think this is definitely the top. Yeah, there's definitely a gap there, which is interesting. So I'm going to sort of look here and see why. Um, see here, that's definitely where that goes. Those are the locator pins for that. The floor is in. This must be... It must want to go on the inside of that, right? Which means, which means it's going to sit down under this, like this. And then, and then this is going to sit 
flush to that. There you go. It does sit flush. It absolutely sits. It absolutely sits flush. I want to show you this because I think it's important. Whoa, sorry about that. See, there's the... Well, of course, it doesn't want to do it now because you're watching. Let's get this in. Okay, so that's, that's where it sits. And then the control surface sits in there and it it all comes to it there it all it all it all sort of comes together now my fat fingers are in the way but it does work and it does appear as though there's room down in there for for lighting and it's also why this lip is clear obviously so i've got to gnaw out these um i've got to gnaw these out which i will do and uh, get my photo etch on and uh, we'll do a little bit of that and uh, I think that might do it for this session guys there's a lot of uh, there's a lot to figure out um, but I'm having you know, I'm having fun with this. I'm, I'm glad I'm finally getting to this. I've, I don't, this is another one of those kits I've procrastinated about for so long. I don't know why. I don't know why. Um, but everything needs to get a coat of paint. And then um, we need to figure out, like, what is... I can see... I, I can definitely see all of the, uh, the photo etch that's on here. Um... Plenty of plenty of opportunity to light this if you wanted to. Um, yeah, yeah. It's it, it really does. It draws you in, <laughs> and it goes. Come on, just a few twinkies here and there. Come on. So, all right. I'm gonna give that some thought. Uh, not a lot of parts to this, curiously, but um, definitely, definitely requires some thought um, as to, you know, how you, how you sort of put it all together. Um, but I have to say, once again, it's very cool to have this, you know, the phone. Yeah, so this lighting kit gives you your front headlights. It gives you two lights for the control panel, which essentially will light the figure's faces. It gives you the reaction, uh, the reactor core multiple lights, which was classic from the show and it lights the floor uh, for you and it also has two red lights for the engines uh, so anything else you're you, you are kind of on your own but i think that's fine i think um i think the net result is it's going to be a very clean build what i'm not uh, sold on and i don't think i'm going to go with is punching holes in the underneath here rear for the switches i don't know uh, i'm gonna think about it i know that uh there are other ways to go for sure so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to start getting uh i'm going to start getting some parts primed and i'm going to start uh getting some some photo etch uh, put on. I like using um, bare, it's called bare metal steel. I just like the way it looks. So I'm going to be using that. It's a Tamiya paint. And uh, then we'll get all of this uh, photo etch on these, on these surfaces. And we'll, we'll, uh, we'll see if we're going to light anything else up i don't think we are i think that there's more than enough going on between the the, the christmas tree effect 
of this uh, reaction core and everything else. I think that's more than enough. And um, I'm going to be sealing mine uh, up. I'm not, I'm not going to leave it so the roof can come off. Um, it's just not what I do. So, but anyway, um, lots going on. I'm going to, I think we'll do one more quick segment here so you can see some of my progress. Uh, and then we'll, uh, I think we'll call this one uh, a solid part one. <laughs> So I've been hitting the uh, photo etch with some bare metal silver. It's a Tamiya paint, comes in a rattle can. And uh, it just does the coolest thing to these photo etch surfaces. It patinas itself and it it sort of has these highs and these lows. So when you look at it with the naked eye, I don't know what the camera is going to tell you, but when you look at this with the naked eye, it looks slightly worn and aged. And um, I, just, I just really love it. You can dry brush this now with uh, a little bit of black. And uh, boy, this, this would just be, just be beautiful. Um, so I've done that with all of my, yeah, that you can see, you can see how it's got this sort of aged kind of worn look to it. And I really love that. So those are going to dry and that'll be good. Um, <clears throat> and then of course, I'm going to start taking away uh, the, the, t the tops of these at, and dropping my, my photo etch over it. Uh, putting a little bit of white paint, I'll, I'll hit these with some, some white uh, before I drop them down and then I can actually uh, with a little pin I can drop in some some clear uh, yellow blue green that sort of thing and it'll it'll you know it'll give an indication that that something's going on because uh, this this whole reactor core bo uh, panel is going to light up like a Christmas tree so should be pretty good um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, uh, prime any of these until I've taken all of the, um, uh, the, the, I've just, I've cleaned these up, you know, so that they're ready for, for photo etch because, um, it just, uh, I don't, I don't want to have to, to start fighting the, the primer and, and, and gluing this, you know, uh, it, it does, it doesn't work. Um, so I'm going to, uh, drill out, uh, these two panels, as I mentioned, I've got lights for those, uh, everything else will get, uh, photo etch and that'll be fine. And, um, then I'll start going to town with all these pieces so that we can, um, we, we can start to, 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 to paint them. They're two-tone, um, at least I believe they're two-tone. They uh, want to be, um, let's see here, it says um, gunship gray and then uh, control panels and walls dark gull gray. Um, so it wants to be, they want to be gray, but, um, but I think there's also some two toning we can do here, but we'll see. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll do some uh, frame grabs and, and, and see what I come up with. Okay, um, <clears throat> I think that's, uh, that's a healthy start to part one. Lots going on. Uh, part two, we will um, have uh, hopefully started to uh, prime things uh, and get get some details going on some of the um, some of the surfaces, and then uh, really start start looking at how this this uh, wiring kit is going to go to lay in there, and then uh, we'll start to look and see if there's any fit issues with with how this all sort of comes together. It doesn't appear as though we're going to have too many fit issues, which is which is really good. Uh, but I'll tell you this, uh, this plastic, um, it's not just about washing these surfaces. 
Um, I've actually washed, um, I've not done this surface yet, but I will. Um, but the, the, the shell, I've, I've washed them with warm soapy water, dried them. Then I uh, did a light 800 grit sponge all over it. Um, you can also use uh, 0, 0, 0, 0 wire wool just to give it a little scuff and get some of that, that shine off of it. Um, then I hit it with uh, primer and then I'll um, um, sponge it again with my 800 grit and then hit it again with prime, uh, primer so it has a, a nice good surface. Let that dry and then we can go to town on the paint job. And that's why we've got the masks. Uh, but we've really got to let that paint dry and seal it before we, uh, we put the blue on. Um, so that's going to be a bit of a challenge. And then I also am going to work on my base and see about extending some of those switches into a base of some kind. And um, see where that takes us. Because, uh, I don't know, I'm struggling with the idea of putting switches just drilling into the bottom of this thing. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. You know, on the other hand, there is some merit to building this and, uh, and looking at it through the eyes of what it was, you know, supposed, to, uh, supposed to, to look like from the manufacturer's point of view. I don't know. There is something to be said for that. But... We don't do that, do we? <laughs> uh, no, we don't. We, we don't do that. Okay, so lots going on. Um, thank you for being a part of my Irwin Allen Fest. This is the 132 scale flying sub from the television series Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. A great one. Uh, I'm a big fan. So I'm um, excited to, that this is underway. Um, thank you for joining me, uh, as always. Um, if you want to reach out and say hi, you can always get me at Spruverse at Gmail, or you can follow me on Instagram, uh, Spruverse, or leave a comment below. Um, and uh, all are welcome and appreciated. But as always, I wish all of you, please, be safe, be well, Build something, and I'll see you in part two. Take care, everybody.